To change an anniversary billing date, click on Company, Utilities, and then Edit Anniversary Billing Date option. Click on the selection box for the respective tenant that you wish to change, then click Edit on the right hand side. You will then focus on the Billing Anniversary section on the right hand side. For this particular tenant, their current anniversary day is the first. It doesn't matter what their current anniversary date is, we can change it. It's stating here that the next rent charge is on February 1st. It's very important to recognize that when making this change, not only does SiteLink change the date that they're going to be charged going forward, but it makes a prorated charge between the previous charge that was there and the new one. So for example, if their next rent charge is due on February 1st, it's not going to simply make a charge on the 15th, if that's the date I'm going to change. It's going to make a prorated charge from February 1st to February 14th, then you'll have your full month on February 15th, then March 15th, April 15th, and so on. Very important again to remember that there is going to be a prorated charge that that customer owes. In this case, we're changing it from the 1st to the 15th. You're going to click on Anniversary Billing Date, and then click Save. Enter a reason why. Click OK. This is your last chance to cancel. Are you sure you want to commit? Yes. Transaction successful. In this particular case, their rent was due on the 1st. There's now going to be a prorated charge from the 1st to the 14th of the next time that they're due, and then it will be the 15th going forward.